Question five. This question focuses on comma use. So many commas on this test, and there's actually a very particular rule for commas when you introduce a name. Let's talk about the comma, in particular, the rule for introducing a name. Consider the sentence, former president and long-term public servant George H.W. Bush died in December of 2018, shortly after his wife passed. This is the descriptive phrase describing, introducing, if you will, this person, George H.W. Bush. When that description comes before the name, you do not need any commas. If, however, we move that descriptive phrase to after the name, then you must use a comma before and after the descriptive phrase. It becomes what's called a parenthetical phrase. This just means that you could, like, grab that phrase and pull it out of the sentence, and it would still make sense. George H.W. Bush died in December of. See? The sentence worked with that whole descriptive phrase removed. Now, oftentimes the test will give you this little option to put a comma after servant. This is wrong. This is not like an introductory dependent clause. No, no, no. If the description comes first, no comma. Let's look at one more example so we can see. Critically acclaimed actor Meryl Streep has performed various accents over the course of her long career. There's our description. There's our name. No commas. If I move the description to after the name, a comma before and after. Let's go back to question five. What's our situation here? We have a descriptor before the name. So, no commas. And that is why choice D is our best answer.